Jamie Floyd, I'll start with you. Do you get the feeling from Oprah that, you know, if she didn't have these contractual commitments and agreements with her show, you know, maybe she'd be on the next flight to Washington, D.C. to work with Mr. Obama? She'd be one heck of a press secretary, wouldn't she? I think uh, there are those contractual commitments. And look, Oprah knows her talents, and her talents are well utilized under her current contractual situation. She can still be a tremendous asset to President-elect Obama as he goes into the White House. Remember, public opinion, managing expectations, all of that is going to be a big part of all of the change and challenge we have ahead. And she can be very helpful from where she is, especially with that new network she's talking about launching. So I think uh, most useful, but probably not taking the big pay cut she would have to take to actually join the administration. All right, Jamie, I can only imagine what Streisand was thinking at that very moment that kiss was being planned. Well, I, I got you. Look, I don't think President Bush has been reading Barbara's uh, blogs, or he might not have planted the kiss. But look, the, the setting was the Kennedy Center honors. I was in a room recently with Condoleezza Rice and soon-to-be Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Everything was cordial. Everything was above board. We're talking about people at a level where they're not going to be petty. And, and what's she going to do, recoil when President Bush comes at her? He is the President of the United States, and our democracy allows for her dissent. And she has been very vocal in that. She was a big supporter of the Clintons. I even saw her perform at the inaugural uh, way back when. Uh, but I think this was appropriate in that social setting. It's like going to a wedding and having to see the relative that yeah. you may not like. That's not the well, setting well, to have a big debate. Even Jamie Floyd, what do you think? Is Barack Obama going to be the coolest president ever? Well, first of all, you got to love the cool jazz underneath. I agree, AJ. It just drives the point home, and it adds to the humor of it all. Uh, look, he may be the coolest president ever. I think cool kind of goes with the job description, and we've had a whole lot of very cool presidents in our history, though we may not have used that word exactly. Um, I do also think, though, in all seriousness, that a lot of this is going to be about managing expectations. Uh, he is a cool cucumber, one cool dude, but he's also the president of the United States, and we have some tremendous challenges that he's going to have to work with others to face. And uh, I think the American people have to be realistic about what can be accomplished after the last eight years. How do you think Michelle is going to bring the cool factor into the White House? Well, I mean, I, first of all, I think in the modern presidential context, the first lady is key to the president's image. And I guess if it's going to be cool for this couple, then Michelle Obama is half of that equation. But if you look back over our history, first ladies have been incredibly important. Going back to Martha Washington and Abigail Adams, uh, we're more public about it now, and women are permitted to show their intellectual side, to have their policy commitments, even Laura Bush has had policy concerns that she's pursued as First Lady. I think Michelle Obama is going to turn out to be a tremendous asset to Barack Obama and to our country. Yeah, I think she's going to make an indelible impact, and, and the celebrities are really feeling it, too.